Hello, you guys, it is your girl Sassy Princess. Today I am back once again with another special video. And today's special video, guys, before I get into it, I just want to thank you guys for holding on to you know, holding on with me, staying with me. I love it. All of you guys, my Sass family, I'm doing better. I have been kind of ill lately, and you know, I will be getting my SD card on Wednesday, hopefully. And for right now, I'm doing more pre-recorded content. So, without further ado, let's get into this special video. So guys, I want to talk to you guys about some old hobbies of mine and some favorite new hobbies of mine. And so back then, I wasn't really, I was the type of child that I really liked learning stuff. So, I'm not gonna even count that as an old hobby because learning to me was always you know power and that's all I thought about it as just power and so one old hobby would be um, singing and I used to sing you know a lot I used to be in a choir in different choirs and stuff I used to um, go to different events for choiring and everything which is okay but if you guys are wondering I do not really sing no more my voice is kind of hoarse but that's besides the point. Me was always a relief. I don't know if it's for any of you guys. I don't know. Let me know if you guys sing down below. An old hobby of mine would be instruments. I know I took a long break. But yeah, playing instruments was an old hobby of mine because uh, me, like I said, I love music. Like I said, learning the music was all I know. And for me, when it came to different instruments, like I talked about this in the past couple of videos. I um, play different instruments, like I play eight different instruments, such as the flute, the harmonica, the guitar, the drums, the piano, the keyboard, the guitar, the violin, the flute. Yeah, pretty much it. All those instruments, and with those instruments, they give like different range of tone, guys, and like the pitch and the tonal value is really you know great and like I was self-taught so it really helped me to like find myself in music and so yeah that was an old hobby of mine I would be I'm not even gonna consider this one as an old hobby because I still do it like you know video games for me it's, it's an old and new hobby and the reason why I say it's an old and new hobby is because, like I said, I've been knowing about video games my whole life for like 17 years. And to me, video games take you to that state of mind where what if this can actually happen? You know, most video games are simulations. And if you guys don't know what a simulation is, a simulation is a replica of, you know, what you can do in the real world so let's say if you wanted to drive or you wanted to build a home or something like that that's a simulation that's what simulation games are for you know and it's not just simulation doesn't really just involve with driving or building a home simulation also deals with you know you know fantasy role playing all, all of that you know, anything that you can see yourself doing in real life that's simulation and that's why I really, really care a lot about video games because it takes you to that whole nother place where you can, you know, say, wow, this was imaginary, but this can also be, you know, true. And that's where really why I like that hobby. And um, spoken word. And I know that, you know, some people might not talk about it, but with me, I really got into spoken word when I was in high school and I felt like all my emotions that I had dealt with I have really been you know putting myself out there spoken word was a way for me to get out and that's why I was on the um, spoken word team back in high school we went to several competitions won a lot of them and you know I'm grateful and thankful that I had the opportunity 
to be in a spoken word group and to express my feelings towards things and you know say how I felt because I wasn't always like that you know I'm telling y'all I was a shy child just a shy person but then I gradually grew out of it which is cool and I feel like that may be all of my old favorites I don't know um I mean not old favorites old hobbies but I really don't know new hobbies I really don't have that many of them my new hobbies are that you know I just got into filmmaking I love filmmaking I love learning about you know what goes beyond a video or movie or some type of screening and it's so cool to see you know the after effects and the animation and all the all that it comes combined with filmmaking and there are tons and tons of gradual great filmmakers out there and you know me I just want to learn how do they do it and you know possibly do some myself and you know hopefully I can work on it y'all <laughs> but yeah I really enjoy filmmaking just learning the basics and learning the necessities about filmmaking is really wonderful I might do a video on that be on the lookout but yeah filmmaking has been very interesting to learn about you know what how many time and effort do you put into a video or a film or a screen like it is really really amazing what they have to go through you know um that's one new favorite a new favorite hobby would be i like photographing and photography, like I said, photography, for me, like, I really wasn't into it at first. But, you know, once I learned the background of photography and different ranges of photography, I learned and I gradually liked, you know, the whole history behind it. So, making, you know, different types of photos, digital film, um, color photography, like, all of those are great. And I commend all of the artists who've been doing photography for centuries. And just learning about that stuff is really great. And that's a second favorite. My hobby is like I still draw, you know, from time to time. Oh! Hold on, I forgot one. A new, another new hobby is I love doing digital work. Like computer work. And to me, computer work is really good. And I like being a creative behind the screen. You know, like, if you guys ever know what I'm saying, like, being a creative behind the screen lets you know, you know, you showing the world your creations. You putting your own self out there and you doing you. And that's all that matters when you, you know, making a name for yourself with your own work. And that's why I like doing digital work. I mean, 3D work is okay, but 3D work can only take you so far. And I feel like I'm not I'm not down in 3D work, you know, with your hands and stuff. But don't get me wrong, people that do their hands with 3D work are great artists and great, you know, creators. But me personally, I, I don't deal with that. I just don't. My favorites and old favorite new and old favorite hobbies. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a big, big thumbs up make sure you guys turn on your post notifications so you will not miss another video like this one make sure you guys subscribe down below leave me comments on what is you guys old favorite hobbies and new favorite hobbies and hopefully we might have something to comment i don't know and stay tuned for the next special video guys and we are this close to 900 family members i love you guys so much and you guys just make my day and you you guys are just the best support group I have ever had besides my family and my friends and I love you my sass family you guys on the right team you guys on the sass team I love you guys hugs